There is a variant that is now circulating, especially in the Americas, that's called a BA2 uh, subvariant. This is still the Omicron, um, the Omicron variant, but there is a subvariant that is circulating that is called BA2. And there is even a sub subvariant that is called BA2121. Um, so more than likely, what we what we have seen in the Americas is this circulation of the BA2. So that's something that we probably have here in Guyana. It's much milder, but it's uh, more uh, transmissible. So it's even more transmissible than previous variants that we've seen. That was Minister of Health Dr. Frank Anthony speaking on Friday during his daily COVID-19 update about a new variant circulating in Guyana. These variants, he said, can cause hospitalization, especially for persons who are older and unvaccinated. And already, the Ministry of Health has seen a few of these cases. Dr. Anthony said samples will be sent overseas for testing, as to confirm that the variants are circulating here. He, however, did not say when this will be done. However, from the clinical picture of the persons that we are seeing, um, the milder version of the disease and so forth, um, we have a, a fairly good idea that it's the BA2 that is circulating. Meanwhile, with only some 638 active COVID-19 cases across the country, Dr. Anthony believes there are more people testing positive but not reporting their status to the Ministry of Health. He said people are using the self-testing kits at home and not reporting their diagnosis to the authorities. He also reasoned that the COVID-19 symptoms now mimic very much a flu, so people do not see the need to get tested. Uh, so it's like an upper respiratory tract infection. Uh, maybe there are persons who are getting uh, such symptoms and are not um, making the differentiation that this can be COVID. So they treat it like a flu, they stay home and, um, or they go to work. And in that case, they can infect other persons. While mask wearing is no longer mandatory here and almost all COVID-19 restrictions have been removed, the health minister is still urging people to take the necessary precautions. Currently, only 404 to 1,911 adults or 86.1% have taken their first dose of a COVID-19 vaccine. 304 to 1,493, or 66.6%, .6 have taken their second dose, and 34,689 children, 47.6%, between the age of 12 to 17, have taken their first dose, while 25,414, 34.8%, took their second dose. No statistics are available for booster doses. Daniel Swain for the Newsroom.